Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clone your system or Windows Drive using Aomi Partition Assistant software. So we did a video previously on their uh, backup or software to do an image backup uh, of a Windows computer and then restore it. But that's just, you know, restoring an image um, back onto the same hard drive. So this one, we're going to do an actual clone of the drive to a different hard drive and then disconnect the original one and make the uh, new one, the clone drive, the uh, main drive, and then boot it back up and see how it works. All right, so we have the software installed here, and uh, there's a free version. But you can see by the checkboxes, they kind of stop going down the list there as to what it could do. But if you use the professional version, which is what we're going to do, it's about 40 bucks for a year, or you could do 65 I think, for ever type of license, so it's up to you how long you think you're going to use it. All right, so we have it installed here. All right, so here, let me go into uh, disk management to show you the difference here. All right, so here's our C drive on disk one, and not sure how the secondary drive got on disk zero, but sometimes it does that when you start adding and removing drives. Okay, so this is the drive we're going to clone. This is our empty drive that was connected in here, so no partitions, volumes, anything like that. And then you can see that kind of matches up with here too, the unallocated space. So the 90 gigs is the new drive and the old drive is 80 gigs, so obviously you want to have the same or larger uh, size drive to fit all your stuff here. All right, so what we're going to do, also one before we start here, you can see this little exclamation point here. And it says it's Recommends to replace the disk because it's bad anyway. So if we go to properties, you can see the general, then there's the health status here. Lifespan of the current disk exceeds its threshold. And you get some information there that you may or may not know how to uh, decrypt right there. Okay, so we're going to go to the migrate OS option here. Okay, so help you migrate your current OS to a solid state or a traditional hard drive. Okay, select unallocated space on the new hard drive. So here's the new hard drive, unallocated space, the 90 gigs. And then you can see it wants to use just the 80 gigs from the original drive. So if you do that, you're going to have 10 gigs unallocated when it's, when it's uh, migrated here. So we're going to stretch it out so it uses the whole drive. So we'll have the extra leftover space for the 90 gigs here. Okay, so both of them are in GPT format, so we're going to keep both the source and destination the same. Instead of MBR, GPT is the newer format. So I'll click on Finish to return to the main menu, and then Apply the toolbar to have it take effect. So once you do something, you have to apply it, otherwise it's not going to happen. So if I closed out of here, it's not done until you actually click on Apply here. Okay, ready to proceed. Please, con please confirm the following operations and click Proceed. So source disk number one, that's the... C drive, destination disk was zero. Remember, they were backwards for some reason. Going from C to E, the system drive, 80 gigs to 90 gigs because the new drive was 10 gigs bigger. So I'll click on Proceed. And then you have the option to uh, shut down the computer if you want to, after it's done to uh, make the swap. So we'll just uh, let this run here, or pause the video, then we'll be back when it's done. Okay, so all operations have been completed successfully. So we'll go ahead and uh, turn, to, turn off this computer here, uh, take out the old C drive here, and then just make this so this is the main hard drive here and boot it up and see if we get into uh, Windows. Okay, so we got our Windows logo here, so so far so good. All right, so we've got our desktop here. We have the uh, Partition Assistant software installed, so looking good here. Let's see uh, how big our new C drive is. So we've got our 90 gigs, and you can see it's the only drive there, so let's go into uh, disk management. Okay, so you can see it's 90 gigs and the other drive's been removed and now this is a, or still is, a disk zero. 
So it looks like uh, everything worked out okay, and we have everything uh, up and running. All right, so I'll put a link in the description so you could uh, try it out, and if you, uh, well, you can't really do this part of the, uh, or use this part of the software with the free version, but if you want to uh, migrate your OS, you could uh, pay the uh, money and uh, give it a shot and get things transferred over to your new drive. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.